all right i just want to make a quick video this is the rbc that i ported out for the j35 and what i'm doing is i'm cutting off these little runner shields on both sides that way it looks like this so you can see underneath on both sides well i'm sorry on all three vents except for well instead of just the middle one so all i'm doing is i have my impact and I have this uh, hole maker, uh, step hole maker. I don't really know what the name of it is. It's like a drill bit and it has different sizes and it's steps. So each step down is a different size and I'm going as much as possible as I could. So you can see here I'm up to the rim, here I'm up to the rim. Uh, that I could get a little bit closer. And what I'm doing is I'm making two holes here and then I'm just combining them together okay, like so. and so here I made my two holes here and now I'm going to put them together so I'm going to put the cord here and then the aluminum bit deep and out alright and there it is perfect and I opened these up a little bit more and I actually have to go to work right now, but when I come back from work, what I'm going to do is I am going to grab my angle grinder and cut these out here and here. Same thing here and here. Then I'm going to grab my carbine bits and I'm going to try to smooth out the edges as best I could. And we'll have this one ported and cut out just like this one. Just trying to get this one to where this one's at without the big 70 millimeter opening right now i have everything back to stock even the stock z3 throttle body I'm trying to get it to pass smog they're gonna give me some shit because of my battery <laughs> but i'll be like come on bro everything is on there all the fucking hoses are on there all the damn hoses is ready to go shit's ready to be smogged come on broski Oh, dang it, I forgot to put that one. <laughs> Let me put that one. And so anyways, we'll finish this off when I come back from work. It'll be in an instant. I believe, believe me, it's going to be like that. And here we are. It's actually a few days later now. <laughs> uh, but I have left everything the way it is. It's Saturday now. Uh, I smogged my car already. Everything's going back. I have my cat that I fabricated here, my muffler, stock header. These are some PRL headers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this three flange bolt, uh, flange off, cut that off, and grind this off so I could leave this here, and then I'm gonna slide that one on there, weld that one on there, so that way this could bolt to this to the cat so when i need to smog it it's ready um but now what we're gonna do is finish this off we're gonna go ahead and cut the little shields that it has here and so let me go ahead and get my angle grinder and cut that up all right believe it or not today's sunday already my kids are gone uh, it's not that I've been lagging it. It's just hard to get stuff done with them here. Uh, but I have my angle grinder, carbine bits, and the receptacle saw to see if we can cut this out. And I remember I struggled last time. Let's see how hard it will be this time. All right, so there's my first cut. And I'm going to stop right about there because I am pretty close to the manifold. I don't want to cut into the manifold. So now I'm going to cut this side as best as I could and then I think we could bend those down and they'll break then we'll hit it with this right here the carbine bit yes yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, finish it up all right and there it is started to eat a little bit into the runner it's okay not a big deal now I think I'm gonna cut this off with the carbine bit all right there I am eating it up with the carbine bit out aluminum like crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this 
and then just try to round this off a little bit. All right, there it is. It's moving now. Grab a flathead and let's go ahead and try to break this off. There it is, sweet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off all the way down to here. Probably gonna have to use the receptacle saw. Yeah, to cut that out. And all right, and there it is. Now I'm gonna grab the carbine bit and try to smooth out these little fine little grooves. All right, here's the first runner. Nice and set, nice and clean, smooth. Use different sizes to smooth it out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out. Same process. All right, I also have these little sandpapers. This is 80 grit, I have a bunch of them. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just smooth this down a little bit. So it's nice and smooth. That's pretty good. Then we'll do this other one. All right, I went ahead and just put all my tools away already. There it is, nice and smooth. Now we have uh, three ports, sweet. Now what we're gonna do is just clean this up and then we'll spray paint it, uh, cover these, the injectors, the intake, the runners, then we'll spray it. All right, and there she is, nice and clean. Now we'll just let her bask in the sun for a little bit, get nice and dried up. Then we'll shoot some uh, black paint on her. All right, there I have everything all taped up. Everything is nice and sealed, except for this, because I'm not putting that uh, sensor back in. I'm gonna put this plug, so I'm gonna put some Honda Bond on it and plug it up. All right, there it is, nice and sealed. Now let's go ahead and throw some paint on it. All right, I'm gonna hit it with the satin black. It's a uh, paint and primer. Then I'm gonna hit it with this gloss black that was nice and shiny underneath the bay that's gonna get nice and dirty anyways because of all the dirt that's out here but uh let's go ahead and even coats everywhere And I'll let it dry, flip it around, do the bottom. Then I'll do the black one. I don't want to do too much of that one. I just want to make the primer to give it a nice good seal. All right, there she is, looking nice and fabulous. Look at them runners, nice and sexy. Like showing some legs. All right, now what we're gonna do is just cover this up. I'm probably gonna need both hands. There. So no bugs fly into it. And we'll just let it bask into the sun for a lot more longer. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and let that sit overnight. I'm done and we'll slap it on maybe tomorrow or whenever we get a chance. But that should be it for now. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.